Today I show you how to plant tiny vegetable seeds with accurate weight on strong line. The, you know, the vegetable seeds are very tiny, very small. For example, the carrot, onion, and cabbage. So that's why planting them very difficult on strong way. Let's I show you how we can do that. First of all, we have to prepare a seed bed with soft soil. We chop the top of the seed bed with a hoe. The hoe is a handy tool if you could use it in the right way. After raising the seed bed, we flood the top of the seed bed. The width of the seed bed depends on the number of rows that we are going to plant. For double row planting, the seed bed width should be more than feet or 30 40 centimeters. My seed bed height is 10 12 inches or 25 30 centimeters. The high seed bed keeps the soil drained is good in the wet climate. If the environment is dry, you may raise seed bed 4 5 inches or 10 12 centimeters. The garden rake is an excellent tool to flood the seed bed. We must move bigger soil particles cloths and plant residue from seed bed. We repeat this process several times until we get a soft and smooth seed bed. Soft and flat seed bed with fine soil is ideal for getting the good emerge of tiny vegetable seeds. Now seed bed is ready to plant. After preparing the seed bed, we have to prepare the soil and seed to plant it. I suggest to take the soil from a deeper layer of the ground because the top layers of the soil have a lot of the wheat seeds. We have the wheat bank seeds on the top soil. That's why we have to take the soil from the deeper layers. Let's take the soil with deeper layers. Heat the soil through the screen to get the uniform fine soil. The number 405 mice screen size are suitable for this purpose. The soil should be enough to cover up the planting seeds. It is essential to create a straight row and constant planting depths. So for this we make the pass on the seed bed. For the making pass on the seed bed we use the PVC pipe. This is a one inch PVC pipe. So we, we, we lay on the top of the seed bed. And the one in other parts. The spacing between these parts of plant rows depends on vegetable variety. The spacing between turnip rows should be 18 to 30 inches, 45 to 76 centimeters, between carrot rows 16 to 24 inches, 40 to 60 centimeters, and onion rows 12 to 18 inches, 30 to 45 centimeters. So we have the two parts ready to plant. There's a two vegetable seed. This is a carrot, the special carrot, it's a yellow carrot. This is a turnip, red turnip seeds. For example, I show you the two ways of planting these seeds. The one way just without any mixing with the soil, the second way with mixing with the soil. So let's plant first the turnip. We drop the turnip seeds by the path 1 to 2 inches, 2 to 5 centimeters apart. When they emerge, we may thin them 4 to 6 inches, 10 to 15 centimeters apart. After distributing seeds with appropriate annuals, we have to cover the seeds with fine soil. The soil thickness above the seeds should be equal to the optimum planting depth.
Now I show you the advantages of this new planting method in illustrations. The new planting method we call Esman and the traditional seed burying method conventional planting. We must create a path with a specific form and depth on the seedbed with the soft soil in the new method. We could make the profile of the path spherical, triangle, rectangle or pyramidal. The surface of the path will be slightly compacted with the PVC pipe. We drop the vegetable seeds in the path. Then we cover seeds with a sieved fine soil. The layer of covered soft soil must be constant and optimal that provides fast and uniform plant emergence. The planting depth is varying in the conventional planting and the soil is not fine and soft. The plant root system developed easier in the fine soil and firmly supported by the slightly compacted soil layer. As a result, the plant germination and emergence faster in the new method. The carrot seeds, we show how the plant with the soil. This is a soft, deeper soil. We put the seed to this and then mix it. It's a good mixed soil. And then we put it on the pass. In this approach, we need to make sure that the soil and seed ratio should provide the desired number of seeds per interval of planting pass.